everyone thank you guys so much for watching in today's video i have a half first impressions and like a half ulta haul if that makes sense um there's a couple of these items that i bought probably maybe a couple weeks ago like maybe two three weeks ago before we were all like isolated and quarantined and then i just recently placed an order as well and my order just came in yesterday so i'm gonna be showing you guys some oldie book goodies there's some first impressions in here and then i just wanted to show you guys what i got as far as my haul is concerned i think i spent like 300 bucks <laughs> i'm gonna quit chit chatting so we can get on with this video but if you want to see how i got today's look then please keep on watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and yeah the two foundations that I ordered were the Dose of Colors foundation. This is the Meet Your Hue medium to full coverage foundation. And then I also grabbed the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place foundation. These are what both of these guys look like. I think for today, since I'm doing a first impression, um, I wanted to do the Dose of Colors. I've never used a Dose of Colors. I got the shade 115 light medium. And then for the Double Wear, I got 3W. 1.5 and fawn. I think I want to do a video of like a full face of new things first with this. So I think today I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder and Double Wear. The shade fawn, this is actually a new shade because before I think it used to be the shade tawny. When you order offline from the Ulta website, they do provide you like a pump as like the free gift or whatever, which it's nice because this is one of those foundations that you have to like pour onto the back of your hand. If you're not familiar with the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation, this foundation is super full coverage and everybody raves about it it's like an oldie but goodie by the way i am primed and i'm moisturized already so we don't have to worry about that this is like og og foundation i'm using my elf sponge to apply i started to apply it with a brush but i just felt like since it is so full coverage that I should be applying it with a sponge, especially because like this month I'm breaking out. Last month it was this whole side of my face. This month it is this side. So I don't know what is going on with my skin. My skin is just, she's not with me. I've also kind of been eating like crap because of this whole quarantine thing. I feel like everybody else, like I feel like I'm literally at the fridge every 10 seconds. There is the cutest little bird's nest that's like right outside my window. So I'm praying, even though the, I love that the birds chirp like outside of our window, it's so inconvenient for like when I'm filming. And I think it's like the mom bird. She just makes so much noise, especially in the morning at like 7.30. Oh my God, she makes so much noise. And I don't really know like where the bird's nest is per se, but it's so close, like we can hear it. What I love the most about the Double Wear Foundation is that I feel like throughout the years, they definitely lightened the formula of this because before it used to feel like, and honestly, I haven't really used this in probably like over a year, but what I didn't like before was that it was very, very heavy. You can kind of like feel it on the face. That's one thing that I am glad that they definitely changed about that. Another new item that I have today is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is not a new product. I actually have this in the original formula. The only thing I feel like is that these are very, the colors are just inconsistent. So the matte one and the hydrating one, the colors are not the same from hydrating to matte finish. As far as like blending out, I think that blended out amazing. I really like this formula. Because I feel like sometimes hydrating concealers can lack coverage and I really like this coverage so far. For cream contour today, I'm going to be using my tried and true, my foundation stick from Black Radiance. Also, my sponge is just so dry. going to take the NYX Bear With Me spray and this is like a fixer that you can use. 
And the reason I'm gonna use this is because it's gonna help with blending out the cream contour with this matte foundation. So I just want to spray that really quick and then I'm gonna start blending. For setting powder, I'm using the La Mercier translucent powder. This is nothing new. You guys know what this looks like. Obviously I'm in a good mood because I'm trying to look hella snatched right now. And you guys know I never even cream contour, so like, who is she? I've been letting my brows grow in, so I'm just kind of like letting them do their thing as far as like shaping them right now. I've been tweezing a little bit, but obviously like everything's closed and I'm stressed out. Very stressed. <laughs> I actually wanted a new bronzer brush because the bronzer brush that I've been using it's from Morphe and it's good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I've so badly abused it that I needed to get something, you know. And these are from e.l.f. Cosmetics. They honestly, one's a highlighter brush, which I think is this one, and then this one is the blush brush. Honestly, don't they look exactly the same? The blush brush is just a little bit denser. But the hair, like the hairs are longer and that's what I don't like. I don't like that the hairs are that long. I don't know. Gonna go in with another Holy Grail, the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. And it's just a Holy Grail, I'm obsessed. It just looks good when I have a tan. It looks good when I don't have a tan. As you can see, we have deepened up the bronzer. I'm just gonna take that bronzer right over my lids. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer and then just also like bronze my neck. I'm just taking this philosophy brush and I'm just going to dust away any of that setting powder that we had up under the eyes, size of the nose, and then obviously under the contour. I'm gonna do lips next and then we'll go back to face. I just wanna switch it up a little bit. Order the shade Spice, and this is just a classic matte lip liner. So I'm gonna take that MAC lip liner and I'm going to Outline my lips. I don't feel like this is as brown as I thought it was gonna be. She's pink. I feel like I've used Spice before though. And it turned out fine. So I'm just gonna use this. Oh my God, my lash extension is hanging out of my eyeball. That is freaking pink. I got the KKW Cream Lipstick and I got the shade 1.5. I think I also have this in 2.5 and I think I have the 2.0 if I'm not mistaken. And then also I got the Kylie High Glosses and then I got two shades in these. I got the Always Shining and the Oh You Fancy. I just wanna see these quick. I don't know if for this look I'm gonna do gloss but I feel like I kinda will only because I don't know how I feel about this lip liner. I'm just gonna go in with the Nude 1.5. Yeah, this is more of like a, it's definitely a nude, but I feel like because I used that lip liner, it'll probably pull a little bit more on the pink side, which is fine. I'm just gonna take some of the excess setting powder that I have on the back of the sponge 
and just tap right over my lipstick. This I feel like made it a little bit more wearable, at least for me, because you guys know I'm a nude lip girl, always have been. I think I'm gonna try the Kylie OU Fancy Gloss and I'm just gonna put this on just to see how I feel. So I picked up two blushes that I've been actually dying to try. I've heard such good things. And like, I'm gonna be honest, these did not blow me away at Ulta when I like swatched them and everything. But I was like, you know what? We're in the middle of a freaking quarantine. What else am I supposed to do besides actually try products? So I'm going to be using today. I don't really know which one I wanna to use today. I picked up Batty on the block and then I also picked up Close to Perfect. These are the two shades. As you can see what I mean, like this one is kind of like in the color realm for where we're going today and then i feel like this one is just a pop of color too much like i feel like this would be too pink for today's look so i'm gonna go with this one and this is the close to perfect shade and you know what i love i love that she used a decent sized pan like a lot of blushes you see the pans are not this big like this is a very i feel like this is a big blush um, and I love the fact that she put a mirror in here. And granted, I feel like it might not be the best mirror, but I've seen way worse mirrors. So this one, kudos to you. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna grab that e.l.f. highlighting brush and I'm gonna be using that to apply the blush today. I love that, so pretty. And I am now pink, so let me go back to that bronzer brush. And I'm just going to literally go in with whatever is left on the brush. Like I'm not even, I haven't double, like double backed into the bronzer. I'm just literally blending that out. The next product is not something new. This is just some of the Benefit Brow Gel. I think this is the Give Me Brow, and they actually just had these on sale yesterday. I should have totally grabbed one. The next item that I picked up was the Morphe, the Continuous Setting Mist, and I'm gonna spray this all over my face. This is gonna be my setting spray, and I'm gonna put this on right before I do my highlighter. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this, but this setting mist is so misty that like, I feel like, you know how like models come out of the water and they come out of the water like going like this with their hair all the way back. I was never one of those people. Like I need to like physically wipe my eyes. I wear contacts, I wear glasses. My eyes are just, and have always been sensitive even like to sunlight. But like those girls that like come out of the water and they just go like this and their eyes are already open and the water is just like, you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like with this, I can literally like close my eyes and open them halfway through and I just feel like cute. And then for highlighter, I have an oldie but goodie. This is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia, and it is just the prettiest highlighting kit ever. I believe that this one came out back in like 2017 or something, but it just relaunched. People were asking about it and they decided to bring it back. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Glow Getter, which is the center shade at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it because I'm holding it like a weirdo. This highlighting kit, it's a very, it's not loose, but the highlighters are very, very, like if you touch them, you're like, you can kind of see, you get a lot of um, like fallout. So I'm just gonna take that highlighter and literally I've been doing highlight from the kind of like where my pupil is to up where my brow ends, if that makes sense. I feel like people are kind of straying away from highlighter a little bit. And I still, you know, I'm still kind of on the highlighter train. I don't really know yet. I'm gonna be taking my Benefit Their Real Mascara and I'm just gonna use that on my lower lash line. So the other two things that I got that were makeup related were the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. And then I also got this Burt's Bees blush. And this Burt's Bees blush is in the shade Toasted Cinnamon, which I really, really like. And this was actually a recommendation by Juicy Jazz. I'm gonna open it so I can show you guys what it looks like, but I don't have something around here that I can open that with, so we're not gonna open it. You guys know me. You guys know I love a nude palette, hence the name Nude Mood, but you know. But I'm sure I have 80 things that look exactly like this palette, but this is something I will use. This is something I'm not gonna like 
waist, if you will. Yeah, I just like this entire palette. I feel like the, like this shade right here, I'm obsessed with. Like these three, can't even. I actually kind of want to go in and put this little wink wink shade. This is why you don't skip out on drugstore makeup because it's freaking bomb. I kind of feel like the whole inner corner thing is kind of like out of style again now, but you know, things come in waves, so we're gonna do it today, and it looks freaking bomb. I have four other things that I need to mention, and the first thing that I'm gonna mention is this Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. This, this brand, technically, the one I have in the shower, I think is um, Shea Butter. This one just says Shea, let me see if it smells the same. This one just smells a little bit more on like the fruity side. Um, I'm probably gonna put my other one that I have in the shower right now. I'm probably gonna put that one in like my March favorites or maybe my April favorites because I've been using it for like a little bit over a month now. And it's perfect, like it works. It's so nice because the beads in these are, they're gritty, but these work perfect for like your bikini line. They work perfect for my girls who get Brazilians. Like to buy the exfoliant from European Wax Center. And then I literally read online that if you just literally get like a gritty enough scrub or like a sugar scrub, some type of body scrub, that you can literally use that to help with like any ingrowns or like if you wax or anything like that, that it would help. This one has vitamin C and vitamin C is really good for like dark spots and stuff. Someone who might have like um, some like dark scarring from getting waxed or shaving or, or anything like that, whether it's under your underarms, your mamacita, whatever it may be, these have been really, really good to me. So I definitely picked up another one because the one that I've been using, oh my God, I first of all, I use it two to three times a week and it just never runs out. I use it all over my body and it just never runs out. I heard such good things about this brand and I've just been sleeping on them because I don't know why, but I heard The Ordinary and I've seen the packaging and I just thought it was so expensive. This just says glycolic acid 7%, toning solution pH 3.6. I'm so excited about this because first of all, glycolic acid 7% and then with it having like a different pH, this I feel like is going to work miracles on my skin. It says use ideally in the PM no more frequently than once per day. And honestly, it's probably saying that because of the higher percentage of glycolic acid. It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell super harsh or anything like that. Yeah, it just says to use once a day. You guys know I love me some facial oil. I mentioned in my last video, I was using the e.l.f. Ugh, I don't know what I was about to say. I don't know what I was about to say. In my last video, I was showing you guys how I shaved my face with my e.l.f. All the Fields oil. And that one is like a hemp derived one. So basically it's just derived from hemp or sativa or something like that. Next thing I wanted to mention from that same brand. I don't know if you guys can hear my boyfriend, but he has been playing the game all quarantine. Please like this video if your boyfriend has not stopped playing the game. All quarantine. The next item I wanted to mention is the ordinary, and this is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. You guys know I love facial oils, and I've already used um, rose hip seed oil before. I just used it from a different brand, and this one is just 100% organic. And I don't know what it means for it to be like cold pressed, but it does say that it's for all skin types. The last item that I'm going to mention is going to be another item from The Ordinary, and this is the AHA, AHA, 30% plus BHA, 2%. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know what AHA is, and I don't know what BHA is, but they sound good, and I'll probably research them like after this. This is a 10-minute exfoliating facial that I'm so freaking excited to try because look, it is so crazy. It's red. Look at how dark this is in the bottle. Why am I so close to the camera? Whoa. Guys, look. Like, what is this? Now, this is a really crazy, crazy time. I mentioned it in my last video, my spa video, about how I wanted to be an outlet for anyone who felt like cooped up in the house. And that was two weeks ago. And like, I feel like right now we're in such a different space, such a different ball game that this is like for real. So I just wanted to come on camera and just give you guys a little bit like a breath of fresh air like we've all been mentioning. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this look together and I will leave all the products that I mentioned in today's video, I will leave them all in the description box below. And I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're staying inside and listening because none of this is gonna end 
unless we all actually listen. 